Hi, my name is Tom Casey. I wanted to do a quick short video today on your limousine company. Basically the purpose of this video is to compare you with one of your competitors in terms of where you guys show up in search results when people are searching online for limo service in Cincinnati. Um, there's just two factors I'm going to go over with you today because I want to keep this video short. But before I jump into that, I want to show you um, how many people are actually searching online for limo service. This is a tool from Google. It goes out and does a monthly count of search results. <clears throat> so basically what I did is I went back 12 months and what I'm counting is how many people are searching for limo service by month in, in Cincinnati for the last 12 months. Okay, so here's 210. It rounds up to the nearest 10, by the way. 590, well, that was a big month there. 1600, 880. A lot of people are searching 170, 170, 390, 720. Another big month, 260 down here. 260 and last January 2015 720 people searching that's a lot of searches going on so I thought this would be a good exercise went over to Google did a search for limo service in Cincinnati this is page one right here okay Let's see where I find you you are over here here you are an elegant affair limousine and that is on page three Okay, so what I wanted to do, as I mentioned, is just cover two factors. These are two factors that search engines consider when they're doing rankings. <clears throat> Excuse me, they obviously consider more than two factors, uh, but I want to keep the video short, as I said. So I want to compare you with someone on this page. I want to look at those two factors and see if there's any differences between you two. And if there are differences, if there's anything that can be done about it to improve where you show up in search results so more people can find you. So just for comparison purposes, I'm going to use Jimmy's Limousine. And the first factor that I am going to discuss today is something called citations. A citation is a listing in a directory site for your business. It's a name, address, phone number listing. Okay, And I'm going to give you an example. This website here actually goes out and finds directory sites. Okay, Here's one directory site called DexNose. You've probably heard of that. So as an example, if you, an elegant affair, had a listing on DexNose, a name, address, phone number listing, that is considered one citation. All right. Now search engines like citations. The more the better. They feel like it makes you more legitimate and therefore they want to rank you higher than someone who has fewer citations than you do. All right. Now at the top of this page we actually do a citation count. So I have your business in here and it's telling me you have 129 citations. That's pretty good actually. Jimmy's, who we're comparing ourselves to, has 219. So that's more. But the good news is you can easily and quickly get added to these directory sites. So this number 129, we could bump that up by 50 or 60 in short order. And when we do that, it's going to have a very nice positive impact in terms of where you show up in search results. You're definitely going to move up. Okay? That's the first factor. The second and last factor I want to talk about is something called backlinks. Now, backlinks are important, more so than citations. A backlink is a link from one website to your website. As an example, if there was a website called CincinnatiLimosupplies.com and on their website they had a link to an elegant affair limousine service.com. Obviously that goes to your website. That is considered one backlink. Okay? Now search engines like backlinks even more than they like citations. Again, for similar reasons, they feel it makes you more legitimate and therefore they want to rank you higher than someone who has fewer citate I mean fewer sorry, fewer backlinks than you do. Alright? Now the website I'm on here actually goes out and does a backlink count. And the number we want to look at, we did an account for you, and the number we want to look at is unique. In your case, they're all the same here, but anyway, you have three unique active backlinks. Let's go look at Jimmy's. Oh, okay, so Jimmy's has 47. That's quite a big difference there. But here's good news. Number one, we can add backlinks to your site. Okay. Plus, I want to point out something. This link influence score on Jimmy's is very low. A link influence score is an indicator of how strong the backlinks are that are coming to your site. And it's based on how good the website is that's linking to you. The better the website, the higher that score going to be. It should be closer to 20 to 30 percent. The reason they're ranking is because they have all these 47 active. So what does that mean to you? Well, like I mentioned, we can add backlinks. All we got to do is get this score up. We don't even need to add, add that many. If we just added like maybe 10 to 12 backlinks and got this score up to 12, you know, high 20s or low 30 percent, it's going to have a huge positive impact 
in terms of where you rank. You're definitely going to move up a lot in search results. More people are going to find you, should result in more phone calls, more business, okay? So anyway, today we just talked about two factors, because I want to keep it short as I keep mentioning, but you notice that just with these two factors alone, there is a difference between you and someone on the other page of Google. You also are learning that we can take steps to eliminate those differences and mitigate them. And when we do that with just these two factors alone, you're going to have a nice big jump in search results, okay? More people will find you. So anyway, I hope you found this was helpful. This is what I do for a living, but I do not charge for consulting services, okay? So if you want more information about what I talked about today, that's free. If you want me to cover the other factors I normally cover with my other customers that affect search results, that's free. If you want me to review your website, that's free. There's no cost, no obligation, okay? So anyway, uh, if you want to give me a call, feel free to. If you want to talk more, if you want to shoot me an email, that's fine as well. Anyway, I'm going to end the video now, so have a great day. Bye.